This is a DSZ stereo microscope. It is a beautiful microscope. It's stereo. It gives you true, true three-dimensional stereo. Um, to work this microscope, you've got a few features here. So first of all, you have a light in the stand here. So there's a knob here. You turn the light on to illuminate your part. And there's a uh, LED ring on the bottom here and there is a lens here that gives allows you to uh, move the, the head of the microscope uh, away from the work so you can get your hands in there and work. Now if I were to take this lens off I'd have to go very close here so I'm no expert in microscopes I just wanted to show you this thing because I'm going to use it for watch repair. So this is a uh, variable uh, little rheostat here to vary the, um, the actual intensity of the light and then <clears throat> what you have here, you can, uh, just like you have for binoculars, you uh, you get this eye in focus and then you adjust this one after to make sure that uh, you've got both eyes focused because no eye is exactly the same. Um, the microscope is actually focused by moving uh, this knob here and this moves the, uh, the whole microscope up and down to give you a perfect focus on the part. And so once you focus on the part, what you do is you... You take this little dial here and you zoom it to 2, which is the farthest away. And then you focus on the part. And once you focus on the part and it's in the center, and then you zoom in. So I'm going to actually see if I can show you a part here. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this for myself. It's a DMZ-70, so it gives you times 70 focus on this. So and you can use this on these uh, this focus or the zoom in knob on any... Uh, on either side. The thing I really liked about this is that it was a kind of a linear zoom where I had another, I was looking at another microscope that uh, just clicked and it was like times 20, clicked times 40 and this is, that was no good. This is perfect and it gives you a 3D perspective. Um, beautiful for doing watch work, beautiful for doing, uh, looking at jewels, cracked jewels on the watch. You can look at dirt, material, everything on this thing. So you can look at teeth. So if you've got bent teeth, um, you've got a gear here with bent teeth and you want to actually move that tooth with uh, tweezers or, or a screwdriver over and heat it up and move it. Uh, you can do that. You can solder on this on this surface, quite a big surface as well, which is really nice. So the first thing you do here is you zoom in on this and I'm just going to back off just a bit and have a look at it myself so I can zoom out like this and then center the part and uh, there we go. It's, Pretty much centered there, and then I'm going to see if I can see if I can uh, get it. Yeah, there we go. That's beautiful right there. It's not going to show as well on the uh, camera. Um, I know because I've done this before, and it's uh, a little crappier when you're trying to use an iPhone to zoom in on the thing. But there it is there, and you can just kind of go like this, and and there it is. There's the part, and it is. Uh, perfectly uh, clear when I look at it. So and if I zoom in, as you can see, I'm just trying to hold my phone while I'm doing this. This is tough as heck. Yeah, you can see the, uh, the, uh, the how close you can get to this, right? And let me just do this here and see if I can somehow see that part by doing that. Well, that's pretty close, but uh, I'm losing the focus on that, so let me just zoom back out again. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, you can very clearly see that part. Uh, there it is there. Okay, there it is there through the uh, eye of the uh, microscope. Um, and when you look at this in stereo, this looks a bit fuzzy right now, but when you look at this in stereo, it's a thing of beauty. So this part here, I was wondering whether I had to rivet the balance back on to the balance staff, and I looked at it through the microscope, and I could easily see that this thing was a... The part was riveted on, so when I used my staking set and I punched off the balance, um, I wasn't sure whether it was a friction fit or it was riveted. It was very hard to tell, so in this case, it's riveted. Anyway, that's that's that. So, also to adjust the eyes, if your eyes are closer together or further apart, you just take the, these two things and you twist them. And there's a little you know, uh, cammed kind of thing in here that allows you to twist them, and then they twist at the same same time when you move that. Um, other than that, I think uh, you can move the microsto micro microscope head by loosening this dial here, and then you can lift the whole, the complete head 
off of the stand. I see if I can do this without getting in trouble. There we go. So the, that's removing the complete head off of the stand. So that's the head there. Um, and then you just put the head down again. And that's if you want to use this microscope in another type of stand. But the stand is a thing of beauty. Um, it's it's absolutely perfect um, for my my situation. Some people get the uh, those those four position arms there that just kind of move around and allow you to move the microscope in and out of your work. But I won't be using this for all my uh, watch repair work. But when I do need it, it's going to be sitting right here. So so that is a DSZ70. Uh, I kept saying DMZ like demilitarized zone. Anyway, it's a DSC70. Um, uh, stereo microscope. This is the spec sheet on it. At the, there, I can zoom out a bit here. So, this this is the version here. Um, it, the difference here is that th this is an older version, and I was told that uh, this has the uh, an older type of uh, light in here, and the newer version has the LEDs, which is excellent. So, so anyway, and I don't have to worry about this additional box here. Um, I didn't bother getting one with a camera attachment in the top because I'm really just working on the top, so I don't need the uh, camera attachment uh, per se. So anyway, just wanted to share this with you. Um, it's been a long time in coming. I've wanted to get one of these things for a long time. I finally picked myself up a extremely good stereo, stereo, um, stereo microscope. There we go. Look at that. The only problem is my iPhone doesn't want to zoom in. So there ye, ye there ye go. If I can do this, I'll just back it off a bit. That's the linear zoom right there. So that's what you're looking at when you get in close to the part. So anyway, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching the video. Um, enjoyed making it as much as you hopefully enjoyed watching it. Let me turn this off. I uh, love this little knot knob here, so I can just turn the power off here and sit it aside, and away you go. Fix some watches and do some hairspring work and all kinds of other things. Cracks on jewels, uh, bending hairsprings, bad hairsprings, putting a stud on a hairspring, which is a job that's really hard to do. Um, so restudying a hairspring, recolliting a hairspring. Uh, what else can you do with this? You can check gears. You can check the teeth on gears. You can check for uh, your pallet fork. You can do work on the pallet fork jewels. You can do, um, you can re-shellac under this because it's, it's quite a space here you have um, you can pretty much do anything although I wouldn't want smoke to come up into the lens so although these are used for high reliability uh, micro soldering um, and this, this is a professional unit <clears throat> so it costs about a um, thousand bucks um, I managed to get it from a gentleman in the city where I live and he supplies these and I didn't have to pay shipping or tax I just drove to his house and he explained it to me and I said uh, I gotta go for the big Kahuna. I was going to buy another microscope and it was quite good, but it didn't have this uh, variable um, magnification or zoom, right? I love the zoom. It's perfect. Uh, anyway, thanks a lot. That's my video. Hopefully you enjoy it. Bye.